Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to compare Zoho CRM with HubSpot CRM. The first thing I'm going to compare are pricing plans and then I'm going to show you the side-by-side -side comparison like how it is to create a contact, lead, uh, also dashboard, etc. So let's start. Now I would definitely use Zoho if you want to use it with whole Zoho ecosystem. Zoho world also with invoices and everything in that way Zoho is going to be amazing and you are going to save a lot of money I just need to say that first also both offer free account both Zoho and yes you don't see it here but when you would click here see our complete feature comparison you can see right here that you get free build annually and build monthly for free users so this is really important so if you are with two other sales people you can use the free version but comparing to Zoho, I mean comparing to HubSpot, Zoho uh, free account doesn't have uh, the, the opportunity to show dashboard and analytics. You don't actually have it there. So this is the more really important thing. So you don't have like customer reports, schedule reports, you have only like standard ones, no charts, no KPIs, nothing like that. You have it in HubSpot. So this is the first thing. The second thing is that HubSpot also offers the free account and I really think that they are on the same level when we compare the free accounts so you can actually test it out by yourself which one you like and you're not going to say like you're not going to spend money but when we compare the monthly basis uh, of CRM and sales on both of these Zoho is completely I believe dominating HubSpot you can see the starter user is for two users starter version 46 euro in Zoho, you get 18 for user month build monthly and 30 month build monthly. You can also switch between month and year. But when we compare it to the professional, look at this, 460 euro professional. So you can see right now that it's really expensive to be in HubSpot, but maybe you will like it so that much that you need to use it that you can want to use all the professional version and if you even want to combine with the marketing with the customer service it's going to get even more but what i really like that in market in hubspot you can have like tickets and everything completely for free and from my perspective i like the interface of hubspot more this really depends like which the design you like more i really believe in that so when we compare the pricing the free version is hubspot better uh, because of the reporting that's me but when we compare the pricing plans uh, in which you have to pay those i would say that zoho is winning also i would definitely recommend as i mentioned using zoho if you want to use it with the whole ecosystem so let's just start and i'm going to show you how you can create a contact hubspot if you want to create a con uh, company uh, you can actually uh, they have an ecosystem from which you can like database from which you can like just add it as when i m created a company right here Jessica, I just started writing Jessica and it will automatically add it. So that's really great. You can have contacts, companies, activity feed, then you have like conversations. Conversations is like email, chat forms, and Facebook Messenger. You can like first channel and have tracks and leads from that. Marketing, you can simply create a landing page and you can create email, uh, let's say for those people in your database, if you want to send them some. Like I don't know, for Christmas, you, you get me. Then you have sales here in which you can have deals and you would have deals like appointing scheduled, qualified to buy, presentation scheduled, decision maker brought in, contract sent, closed one, closed lost. Then you have tasks here, like what needs to be done. So we have like a little bit of project management, a toast there and it's great. Documents and meetings and also quotes in meetings. You can simply connect your Google Calendar, service, you can have tickets. This is what I really like is that if uh, if your customers or if your clients have some questions, you can create them as a ticket. And then you have automations and reports. When we come here to Zoho, you get home when you get like just the dashboard here. Close it is my open task. Then you get leads. And okay, you can see the leads here. And you can filter the leads. That same also, I'm going to show you the side-by-side -side comparison. Right here, it's same. So I'm going to remove my camera now so you can see literally everything. You can go with the contact owner, lead status. You can change it by that. So as you can see, I can have the lead status open, new, 
or you can really choose and let me show you right here so now when i'm going to be um, in zoho is like this then account commercial price more long associate chapman deals this is really similar comparing to hubspot that i showed you right here that you can have deals in both and i'm going to also show you like how it feels to create those deals activities so this is similar with activities here in HubSpot. Then you get reports, as I mentioned. And then uh, there's a like basics, but you don't like also with HubSpot, you can do it too. Products, then you get quotes here, sales orders, purchase orders and invoices. So this is also connected with Zoho integration, Zoho expense, Zoho inventory, Zoho subscription. And this is what I meant that using Zoho uh, is going to be really great. If you want to use it uh, with the whole ecosystem so when i'm going to click on the contacts here or like leads i can simply go to top right and click plus and lead owner that's me first name email i can edit everything right company right you can add the mobile lead source advertisement industry rating you can add uh, everything here click save and voila here we got it so this is our lead and here on the left side you would see notes attachments products open activity invite meetings emails campaign zoho desk and you can add notes here and everything right in hubspot i honestly like it more so i go to Create a contact, first name and email. Then you just add a job title, phone number, life cycle stage. Like that's going to be like lead or opportunity. And I can add a job title and lead status, new, right? And I can click here, create a contact. Right here in contact is the same style. Click plus here. And first name. You have more options to add here in Zoho. Lead source can be employee referral. Right, and you click save. And voila, the same thing, relate to this. Open activities, details, notes that I can add to the contact. But when I come here, look at this, how it looks in HubSpot. So in HubSpot, you got, you can have note, email. When I click note, I'm directly here. I can lock a call, an email. Also, what you can do is to add a task to it. And it's directly like going on the right side. Like I really like the design more. Enter task. This is a task. Task. Save task. Right. Okay. So that would have it. Then also what you can do is to meet. And you would see all the notes, all the emails, all the calls, tasks and meetings right here. On the right side, we can simply add the deals. I can simply close it or open it. Here. I can go also to deals. And let's click plus new deal so this is a deal account name type existing business cold call i can really read only field amount can be one that ten thousand dollars closing date okay stage i choose it qualification probably ten percent and click save right look at this so, okay, we have a, this is a deal and this is how you're going to see the deal here. Here, I can simply click add a deal to, and I can go appointed scheduled, qualified to buy, amount 10,000. Deal type, it's been new business and click create. 
directly I'm going to be in my deal and I'm also when I'm going to click on a deal here I can simply move to like needs analysis and change that we moved on probability 20% also the percentage is increasing right needs analysis qualification amount expert revenue and I can also add to that like open activities, products, quotes, everything right here, the same style, but in HubSpot it's a little bit different. And you can add an email, call, log, task, meet about the deal and also the tickets. Use the tickets to track all of your customers' questions and requests for help. So that's this. I just like it more that yes, you have a timeline here. Yes, you don't have the, this kind of overview that you have, but you can simply click here sales deals but it's the same in here that when I would click on the deals I can simply move it right so this is the really the same I can't really say that one is better comparing to the other it really depends uh, which one you like more then on accounts this is similar then you go to activities these are like the tasks here that you can do you can click, simply create a task same with here I can add a task, I can add a meeting, I can add a call, right? Pretty simple. I'm not going to like create that because like it's straightforward how it works. And again, customers open these leads and contact others. You can click also for meetings here. So that's what you can actually do. And yeah, but I really like the activities here. I like it a little bit more on Zoho, honestly. Then you got analytics here. This is like the basic analytics that you're going to have and see. So, yeah. And then on automations are paid, but this is pretty much it. I mean, I don't know what else to show you. They're both great CRM systems. It really depends what you need. I recommend testing them both, which you like more. And if you're going to use the Zoho whole ecosystem, I would go with the Zoho. But personally, if you're small, I would start with the HubSpot and use that. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Have a great day, guys, and goodbye. See ya.